Hi, this is William from Great Affordable Watches, and in this video I'm going to take a look at the Monshard Sky Toucher. And this is actually a Swedish based watch company, which I think is really nice to see. And as always, let's start off with the specifications first. And I have actually got myself a digital caliper, so I can measure the watch dimensions directly in this video. And please excuse me if my measuring is a bit off uh, as I'm new to this. But we can start with the case size. It is 42 millimeters in diameter. The lug width is 22 millimeters. The case thickness is 12.4 millimeters. The water resistance is uh, 100 meters. It got a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside, I think. And it got the Miura 1915 movement under the closed case back. We can start off talking about the movement a bit. And these days we often see microband watches with the Seiko NH35 movement. So I think it's great to see that they have uh, gone for the Miura 1950 movement instead because I believe that movement is a bit higher end and uh, it actually beats at uh, 28,800 beats per hour and uh, it's also pretty nicely decorated and it's also pretty thin. So I'm a big fan of the Miura 1950 movement and uh, that movement is a huge step up from the uh, 8200 series from Miura. So a great choice with the movement, uh, I really like this one. I've had the Dagas Thunderbolt with the Miura movement and that watch performed uh, really nicely. And uh, the design of this watch is a mix between a dress watch and a pilot watch. As with the name Skytoucher. I think uh, this design is actually really nicely done. I really like the uh, big pilot crown, which is uh, screwed down. And uh, that will, of course, uh, help with the water resistance of uh, 10 ATM, which is also pretty nice for a, a watch like this. I'm going to talk a bit about the drawbacks uh, of this watch, but uh, the dial looks really really nicely the blue sunburst dial is really gorgeous actually and uh, if you have followed my channel for a long time you know that i am a big fan of a blue sunburst dial but uh, the indices and the hands are all really nicely done really good finishing on the uh, polished indices and uh, i think the uh, numerals at nine six and three o'clock looks really nicely some people will dislike the date, but uh, these days a date window is uh, very, very common. And I think they have done a great job keeping it very minimal. The other watch got a gray sunburst style, which uh, looks really nice as well. I'm a big fan of blue dials, but a gray sunburst style uh, looks really nice as well. And I think it really suits the overall finished or polished case that this watch got and uh, both the dials are really nicely made there are no other differences between these two watches except for the dial color of course and uh, yeah it's just a matter of preference but i like both watches perhaps uh, the, the gray dial is a bit more understated while the blue dial is a bit more colorful and fun the Case is all uh, polished, you got the uh, polished uh, lugs, polished uh, bezel, polished sides with a plate here. I believe that's the date uh, of manufacturing or date of assembly. I'm not really sure, but I that would be my guess. And uh, we can see SC here. I believe that stands for Sweden and the that this watch is actually assembled and quality controlled in Sweden. And uh, I think uh, that's a really nice thing. Uh, they say that this watch is made in China, which uh, most, if not all, uh, micro brands like this are. But uh, the quality control and uh, assembly are all made here in Sweden. 
which I think is really nice of them. Because uh, the assembly and especially the quality control is uh, very, very important and uh, uh, Chinese manufacturers are really, really uh, good these days and uh, they do an excellent job most of the time, uh, equally so as Swiss sometimes. But I've seen that the quality control on Chinese made watches can be a bit lacking, so it's great to see that they have went with this route instead. I really like a nice chamfer and of course we got a nice chamfer here on the uh, side between the side and the lug and uh, a good chamfer really adds to the overall look in my opinion. I think the polishing done and the finishing done this watch overall is really excellent. It's uh, The polishing is uh, actually really really nicely done and uh, yeah they, this feels like a really quality watch good finishing and all that. The case back is actually really nicely done as well, it says Monarch with a, a propeller. I think it looks uh, really, really really nice and a good uh, case back is uh, something I really like at least. Uh, a see-through case back wouldn't be uh, too bad with this watch because the movement looks really really nice but uh, to keep that water resistance of uh, 100 meters or 10 ADM and having a see-through case back it can add a bit uh, to the thickness unfortunately and uh, this watch is not the thinnest watch I've seen uh, with this movement and uh, I think that's a bit of a negative downside I would have liked to see this watch a bit thinner and also a bit smaller at uh, 42 millimeters this is a pretty big watch uh, I'm gonna do a lug to lug length measurement uh, in a minute uh, and we're gonna see on my wrist that uh, it wears very comfortably, but I would like to see this watch in perhaps a 39, 40 millimeters case. Uh, that would be perfect in my opinion. But they do get away with it because I guess this is a pilot inspired watch and pilot watches tend to be uh, around this size. So this is not a true dress watch. So uh, the, the size is of course a bit of a preference. I would prefer it smaller, but it do wear it pretty nicely, as we're gonna see. Okay, let's do a lug to lug length measurement. It's around 50 millimeters, which is uh, pretty long. Um, it's still wearable for most wrists above seven inches, perhaps 6.75 inches and up. So yeah, it's still a comfortable watch to wear, but as I said, it would be nice to see it a bit smaller. But uh, now let's do a quick wrist shot so you can see how it looks on my wrist. Okay, here it is. And uh, I must say it wears better than expected. It doesn't feel that big or actually thick on the wrist. Uh, it wears pretty comfortably. 50 millimeter lug to lug is uh, on the larger side for me, but uh, it's still pretty wearable. And that uh, sunburst blue dial looks really nice and uh, I'm actually really impressed with the watch overall. I must say that the quality you get for your money and especially with that, this movement, which is really interesting. Uh, this watch goes for 4,000 uh, Swedish crowns, which uh, probably translates to about uh, $500, give or take perhaps $450. But if you're outside, uh, Sweden or uh, EU, you can get the uh, tax uh, deducted or tax removed. I believe they s they will ship worldwide, but uh, even at the, the price of around four hundred fifty to five hundred dollars, I think I still think this watch offers uh, great value, especially when it comes to the finishing and the quality overall, and also of course the looks. Uh, the looks are great, and I really like the the dial and the all the dial work. The size is a bit on the larger side, but uh, other than that, which is of course a personal preference, I think this is actually an excellent buy. And uh, one of the better uh, micro brands from Sweden I have uh, seen at least. And uh, these guys who uh, are producing these watches or are designing these watches, they seem uh, like uh, true watch enthusiasts. 
Uh, so yeah, that's great to see. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this watch. Uh, do you think it's, uh, it offers good value for your money? Do you like the look? Uh, what do you think about this size? Uh, yeah, just let me know down in the comments. Give me your thoughts on this watch. And also, let me know if you liked the new uh, way of measuring the watch. Instead of just saying the specification, uh, I actually measure it. Let me know if you think that's a good idea and something you want me to uh, keep doing in my upcoming videos. So yeah, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please leave a like and uh, leave your comments down in the comment section and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.